you are improvising or playing a piece, then generally in, in, in playing the solo happens. If you are soloing with some jam track or something or with the band or with the guitar, and you notice that you have many ideas there which come to your mind to, to, for the melody, but the fingers have to follow along, and sometimes fingers does not follow. <laughs> so then therefore, what does that mean? It means we have to get good technique in a way that it is not a, a, an issue for you, so that you can forget about it and play. Right? This is the same thing with theory, we need to learn theory in a way that we are not worried about. Or because we want to flow. Or we flow or we worry. We cannot flow and worry. There is no flow with, with worrying. So then therefore, now don't think, I know it. Yeah, I know that. When you watch it, just ask to yourself how good you are at it. This is the, 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 the study program that will make you successful. Because here we understand the conclusions. The conclusions are, first of all, we need supervision. That's why in Skype I have this program designed for nine levels for anyone. I mean, everyone is invited. With just 20 minutes a day, you can do it. You can follow this thing. If you have more time to practice, that's one thing. But 20 is, is the minimum requirement. If you have 20 minutes a day, which I think you have, you can, you can join the lesson on Skype. And I make sure you get the thing done. That's why I'm here. Then we understand what the communication with the teacher and the student is. Then by getting, how we become efficient as a student is by getting free from doubts and, and by getting knowledge about how we learn, or in other words, learning how we will learn the thing. So that is whole uh, thing is not that the external data comes to you and then you internalize this, but that the, this information coming from outside will make your own thing come out. Uh, and that is because you understood very well the difference between practicing and playing. You have a, a balance and also balance from rhythm, repertory and technique. And on, of course, without supervision, we cannot do these things. That's why I said that, that be confused forever, do it yourself and be confused forever because you're getting nowhere and then record the, the, the you have your own uh, homeworks recorded in, in unlisted videos where you can see this is how I play in match. This is last year I was like this. Last month I played these much of skills, now I played that. So then, then we have to, to actually do a plan for what you want to do. And then of course you can you can be more inclined. Some people want to be more of performer or playing pieces. Uh, other people want to be composer or, or to just understand music in general effectively for every area, which I cover all of them, and you can tell me what you're interested to do, and, and, I, and we do that. This is one thing. And the other is that what, I, what Paco recommends us to do that is at the end of every video, you see what is the goal of flamenco contemporary guitar, the actual goal. The actual goal is to go towards the realm of improvisation because that is the, that is the only thing that will give you freedom. And knowledge, otherwise, you will keep parroting the stuff only without understanding it. So, if you analyze well, this is a big issue on guitar. Therefore, by separating this playing and practicing and having the, have the proper balance there, that in a way that, that you really have fun with, because it's much fun to do this, and then you understand. What is the difference between practice and playing and apply it really, not just know it, okay, but actually do it. And then by doing that, then you generate more excitement and more attraction to, to practice because you, you see how this is effective and it makes you play better, really, objectively. Objectively means we pick a metronome and measure things, and if it is not there, that's all. If yesterday you play at this speed and today you play at less speed, or the same, it means we, we, have, so we have a problem. System. So that's why the teacher is there to verify these things and check it. But of course, the student has also to, to, to desire to, to improve. And this method is for everyone. So the learning process is a magic thing, it's infinite, and we could be 20 years talking about it. But to put it in a shell, we have to understand clearly 
the goal become free from misconceptions, which may be many, many misconceptions. One is, for instance, people think that, uh, well, I said this thing of, of doing with the foot, and then they think they are learning rhythm. No, we need to count, we need to do this stuff, right? But in each, the chair, how you play, if you're a tall guy, you need to have a chair, the posture you have, the, the guitar you are using, you cannot have the advanced same with a hundred dollar guitar than with a nice instrument, right? Well, I, I said that there, in other video, that there are four things. There is an expensive, nice guitar, expensive, nice guitar, in, uh, inexpensive, bad guitar, and expensive, bad guitar. These four categories. We have to aspire to have at least an expensive, nice guitar. Now, what it is that? That to distinguish that, that you need again expert advice because that that you don't know it. You cannot know that. It's just like like choosing diamonds. How do you choose a diamond? You are not an expert of that. This, you need an expert to do this thing. This is not for a layman, <laughs> right? This very complex subject. So and therefore, and how it affects because it how with the guitar with which you practice. That's 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 you. That's how you will sound. The sound you get is through this medium. This is the audience there. You, you hear, and this is the medium. And if this sucks, your your, your performance will suck, of course. <laughs> this is how it is. So this is a misunderstanding. People think, well, if you play great, you can play with anything. No, that's not true. <laughs> right? If someone is a great race car sportman, right? But yeah, but if I have Ferrari and he has that one of the seventies, what? I rock. So, yeah, the, the instrument is a tool, but it's the tool. So, of course, you are also the instrument, and it doesn't mean you, but out of these things, which is also other four categories, which are being a good player with a good guitar, playing with a good guitar, with a nice guitar. Good player playing a bad guitar, and the bad player playing a good guitar, and bad player playing a bad guitar. Out of these four categories, we have to aspire to the first one, to be a good player, and also have a good guitar. The fact that someone may say the face or play more or less okay, or whatever, with a bad guitar, that doesn't mean that this is the goal we have to follow. This is another misunderstanding. That's why I said, conclusions is what Paco said, two things. It's that if someone is not progressing or not advancing in the guitar field, it's just because of two things. Misunderstandings and doubts. These are the two blocks. If we can kill these guys, first identify them, because if we don't know even this is a misunderstanding, then to, to avoid the misunderstanding, we have to know what not to do. So therefore here, how to practice, which is, about, which is about you, that I make sure that happens, because that's why I'm there on this kind of this coaching program, you have to identify first which are the blocks to kill. If you don't identify the, 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 the blocks, then you cannot get rid of it. So therefore, when you want to get rid of something, you have to know that very, very well. Otherwise, you will follow it without knowing it and still be in the same place. Just like someone rowing in a boat with the anchor on. It doesn't move because the anchor is there. Of course, the water gives you the idea that Maybe the guy thinks, wow, I'm going just uh, um, 10 kilometers far or whatever, but it's just that the water moves, but he's in the same place, because the anchor is there. So which are your anchors? This is what we have to discover. And then the teacher, who is the teacher? The teacher indicates this to help you to get the, rid of the anchor. And then that's it. I cannot say anything else which is more valuable than what I already said in these uh, 15 videos, but if, if you are really interested, just let me know and, and you can just in the Skype the program anytime with 20 minutes a day to practice. And remember, in every of these videos, you have to ask yourself, how good I am at it? Not, yeah, I know it. <laughs> that is very easy, because that's another blockage, that's another block. It's actually doubt concealed as a cheating mechanism of the mind to sabotage your progress. Okay, what it is. So therefore, viva Paco de Lucia and, 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 and let's do what we have to do.
which is explore, explore this territory, which will make you have fun like anything, and this is really an adventure. This thing is not a, a, a prison or a torture, it's actually much fun. In fact, the difference between beginners, intermediate and advanced is just that. People do a big uh, ideas about the, what is advanced players and that. It's not the, the, that comes from other planets, extraterrestrial, UFO or anything, it's not that. It's just that an advanced player, he has no problem to practice outside of the zone of comfort. Actually, they enjoy it, so we try to do that. A beginner player, you can identify that, that or kind of assess that level, because these guys keep playing what they like, not what they need. First of all, they readily practice, or, or if they practice, they try to avoid the areas, the dark areas that they need to do. This is one thing. Then that has to be overcome until we get to the third level. And then there, at the third level, we are already getting rid of all these obstacles, and now we are prepared for intermediate, in which we can play 10 per so beginner playing 10% outside of the zone of comfort, and that really is overwhelming for them, and then 90% inside the zone of comfort. Intermediate plays 50-50, 50% inside the zone of comfort, 50% outside of the zone of comfort. Advanced player, 90% outside of the zone of comfort, 10% in, and sometimes less. I have to tell some students, man, now play something uh, which you can do right, really, because the fun is just, if you see how I see Paco practicing, Paco never practiced technique or all things after 21 year old. So, but I, I went to his place many times, years, and then I, I saw him repeatedly putting a cassette of a singer and playing some, just like what I do at the beginning of my videos, which is my practice, by the way. I don't, this is not playing, it's, it's my practice. I practice this and one friend here suggested me that, and the school suggested that, why you don't put one minute of these things when they came and saw me doing that, I said, wow, that's great, put that in the videos, just to show how you practice, and that's why I do that, because Paco, Paco did it, and I took it very seriously, because I saw two or three times him putting like a set of a singer and playing on top of that, and said, what is this thing, this is strange. But then I was a bit shy, shy to ask, but the fourth time I saw it, I said, I, I said, you know, what I have to ask him what this is. And I asked him, why are you doing this? And he said, this, this is what I practice. This, I am, I, this is what we have to do to understand the melody, really. Because if you can understand this and you can create melodies on counterpoint of that or ornamenting that, it means you know that. And, and not only, you can also play something on top of that. And when you are, when you play you, you have plenty of, of freedom in there, you are to rock, because you, you can even create counterpoint by your doing these things. So I said, oh wow. Then I, I said, took it very seriously and I tried to do this every day. Right? Because he was doing it. So if he was doing it, it means it's good for me, of course. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and at the end of this video, you will see him saying, yeah, we have to stop the improvisation. And improvisation doesn't mean to play Stella by Starlight or Bebop. It means to play this, what is our music. And then we have to understand the lines that the cante do, what is the contour, what is the choosing notes, what is the rhythm of that, which are the chords, what is the chord progressions, the family of the music, everything. But apply everything gradually. It's a lot of fun. This, this takes... That's why it's fun guitar, because it, there is always new to learn on this. And that's why this absorption and... and Complete focus on music is such an attractive feature because it is really an attractive feature because you, you can actually flow with it and express your soul through this music. So everyone is welcome and 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 this is the this is the the conclusion that the only two obstacles are doubts and misconceptions and my role as a teacher is to help you to get rid of these two. And we can do it in no time. Me ayudó porque descubrí ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad. 
y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando, de qué armonía está en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucí. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música. 